Good afternoon. We'll now hear from the President of the General Assembly. He'll make some brief remarks and then take a few questions. Good afternoon and thank you for coming. This is the first time I'm addressing you as a President of the 72nd General Assembly and I hope there will be many more meetings with you to which I'm looking forward. You are familiar with my priorities. Let me very briefly mention that it's uh, peace, prevention, avoiding of conflicts, the migration and the preparation of the compact to regulate migration is keeping momentum on sustainable development goals and climate change, it's the issue of human dignity, human rights, and is the modern United Nations that includes also uh, the reform or reforms that are going on and of course the adoption, timely adoption of a budget that will allow us to work. I've informed the delegates this afternoon about the three overarching priorities or principles that will guide my work. First, focus on people. That means keep in mind in every everything we do, that we, what we do is meant to improve the life of people of this planet. Second, quality. Instead of pursuing high number of events, let's rather focus on the substance and on the outcome of every meeting we organize here. And the third, balance. There are many priorities and the, the list of these priorities would differ from region to region or from person to person. And therefore, I want to apply a balanced approach to all three pillars of the UN work and all the, uh, all the program that uh, we are going to tackle with. And of course, I should also mention transparency. I will uh, respect the highest standards of ethics and transparency that have been introduced by my predecessors, of course, uh, fully and, if possible, going even farther. So uh, we are at the beginning of our work. This 72nd session will be a session of uh, many firsts. We will negotiate the first intergovernmental compact on migration. We will negotiate uh, the first document that will be presented by the Secretary General uh, reporting about the implementation of the two important resolutions linked to the sustaining peace. We will hold the first high-level event on peace and prevention. Uh, many member states will sign the first document on elimination of nuclear weapons and also the first document on eliminating sexual exploitation and abuse in peacekeeping. But at the same time, it will be a session of follow-ups and as we say, sometimes the follow-up is more difficult than to, to launch something, but we need to stay the course, and follow-up means particularly continue the implementation of sustainable development goals and implementation of our commitments stemming from the Paris Agreement on climate change. So I think these are the priorities as I see them in a nutshell, and now I stand ready to answer your questions. Yes, sir. Can we get over there? Yes, sir. Very much supported so Georgia and Ukraine. What can you say now with your new status? Uh, because uh, keeping in mind uh, Russia's actions in these two countries. I'm now the president of the General Assembly and I will act and speak in that capacity. And of course, I will try to be the authentic voice of the 193 member states. Yes, we got a question over here. Yes, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, this is Majid Ali Rudaw Media Network. I want to ask you about uh, what is it in the agenda of the, uh, this anger about the, uh, the conflict in Syria and with regard to counterterrorism? Can you uh, give us an idea? Is there any? Okay. What do you hope to see? In this? First, on Syria, we have seen uh, encouraging uh, developments on the ground, which we will support. You know that uh, during the 71st General Assembly, this General Assembly. Uh, adopted several or undertook several initiatives re related to Syria, we shall uh, support this process. That's very important. Uh, including, of course, the thorough investigation of, uh, of war crimes uh, that were committed there. Speaking about the counterterrorism, we are here to support the newly appointed Under Secretary General, who is responsible for uh, counterterrorism effort. The Security Council Committee has adjourned. The of the Security Council Committee has adjourned. One of uh, his priority task will be to streamline the work of the UN agencies dealing with uh, uh, counterterrorism. You know, or you might know that there are 38 different agencies that have counterterrorism as part of their portfolio. So uh, his ambition is to streamline that effort. And we are here, and I personally stand here, ready to support him in this effort.
Arun Lewis from Innovation News Service. Uh, what are your plans to further the intergovernmental negotiations on uh, Security Council reform? The process will continue and I wish to see a credible process with a meaning, meaningful outcome. I've been in touch with the co-facilitators or the co-chairs of the, of the process. Of, I've been in touch with many groups of countries who are expressing their strong views with regard to that, this particular issue. And as, as I said, the process should continue and I want to see a process that, that, that is meaningful and credible. Mr. President, uh, what role do you expect China to play in the UN in the future? I'm glad to see China playing a very important role, being a, a leader on a number of uh, global issues, and I wish to see China continue playing this role and speak uh, not only in its national capacity, but speak as a promoter of the UN agenda. Hello, David Mamone from La Voce in New York. Um, about immigration, the United Nations have no a policy today, so what do you expect in this sense? Um, you said that it's on agenda, so uh, what, do you, what, what are your hopes in this sense? It's not only hopes. Uh, we have a very clear mandate here. Uh, we are tasked uh, to prepare two global compacts on refugees and on migration, and particularly the one on migration is a process led by the General Assembly. And I can tell you that I have already dedicated the largest portion of my working days on the issue of migration. I'll be uh, personally presiding over many meetings. We are uh, in the process of uh, moving from the consultation phase into the stock taking exercise and then uh, the intergovernmental negotiations. We have clear deadline, which is September 2018, and we have clear expectations from the world's population because there is no need to explain to the citizens of this planet uh, what is it migration and how, how, why is it important to them because I believe every single person has been confronted with that phenomena one way or another. And you are right by saying that we do not have a global framework, we do not have a global policy, we do not have a global, global approach. We are in a reactive mood and we are also acting more on national basis rather than on a global basis. So United Nations logically is the only platform that can provide this global answer to the issue of migration. Uh, to offer a global governance because migration is a reality. Migration is here to stay for many years as it has been here with us. So I really hope that we will be able to present a document that will show a clear direction and that will be accepted by the white pub public. On oh, thank you. Very transparency. Your predecessor today was named to a post by the Secretary at uh, uh, Envoy on Oceans, which is probably good for the oceans, but some people think it's strange given that the, the PGA or the GA is supposed to oversee the Secretariat. Can you commit whether you would take a job with the Secretariat as soon as you leave this post? And how do you view the GA's role of actually kind of overseeing the activities, including on ethics and transparency, of the Secretariat? Thanks a lot. I'm glad to say that uh, my particularly my two last predecessors have set up very high standards on ethics and transparency in this office, which I fully intend to, uh, to follow. And uh, I said uh, publicly, and I can repeat it here as well, that I have no personal agenda, I have no national agenda, I have no hidden agenda. I ha only have one agenda, which is the United Nations. So all I'm here for is to help to promote the UN agenda. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you.